A Piece of Monologue by Samuel Beckett Curtain Faint, diffuse light Speaker stands well off center downstage Audience left White hair White nightgown White socks Two meters to his left Same level, same height Standard lamp Skull-sized white globe Faintly lit Just visible extreme right Same level White foot of pallet bed. Ten seconds before speech begins, thirty seconds before end of speech, lamplight begins to fail. Lamp out. Silence. Speaker. Globe. Foot of pallet. Barely visible in diffuse light. Ten seconds. Curtain. Speaker. Birth was the death of him. Again. Words are few, dying too. Birth was the death of him, ghastly grinning ever since. Up at the lid to come, in cradle and crib. At suck, first fiasco. With the first totters, from mammy to nanny and back. All the way, bandied back and forth. So ghastly grinning on. From funeral to funeral to now, this night. Two and a half billion seconds. Again. Two and a half billion seconds. Hard to believe so few. From funeral to funeral. Funerals of. He all but said of loved ones. Thirty thousand nights. Hard to believe so few. Born dead of night. Sun long sunk behind the larches. New needles. Turning green, in the room dark, gaining, till faint light from standard lamp, wick turned low, and now, this night, up at nightfall, every nightfall, faint light in room, whence unknown, none from window, no, next to none, no such thing as none, gropes to window and stares out, stands there, staring out. Stock still staring out. Nothing stirring in that black vast. Gropes back in the end to where the lamp is standing. Was standing. When last went out. Loose matches in right hand pocket. Strikes one on his buttock. The way his father taught him. Takes off milk white globe. And sets it down. Match goes out. Strikes a second as before. Takes off chimney, smoke clouded. Holds it in left hand, match goes out. Strikes a third as before, and sets it to wick. Puts back chimney, match goes out. Puts back globe, turns wick low, backs away to edge of light and turns to face east. Blank wall, so nightly. Up, socks, nightgown, window, lamp. Backs away to edge of light and stands facing blank wall. Covered with pictures once. Pictures of, he all but said, of loved ones. Unframed, unglazed. Pinned to wall with drawing pins, all shapes and sizes. Down one after another. Gone. Torn to shreds and scattered. Strewn all over the floor. Not at one sweep. No sudden fit of, no word. Ripped from the wall and torn to shreds one by one over the years, years of night. Nothing on the wall now but the pins. Not all, some out with the wrench, some still pinning a shred. So stands there facing blank wall, dying on no more, no less. No less, less to die, ever less like light at nightfall. Stands there facing east, blank, pin-pocked surface, once white in shadow. Could once name them all. There was father, that gray void. Their mother, that other. There, together, smiling, wedding day. There all three, that gray blot. There, alone, he, alone, not now, forgotten. All gone, so long gone, 
ripped off and torn to shreds, scattered all over the floor, swept out of the way under the bed and left, thousand shreds under the bed with the dust and spiders. All the, he all but saved, the loved ones. Stands there facing the wall, staring beyond. Nothing there either. Nothing stirring there either. Nothing stirring anywhere. Nothing to be seen anywhere. Nothing to be heard anywhere. Room once full of sounds, faint sounds. Winds unknown. Fewer and fainter. As time wore on. Nights wore on. None now. No. No such thing as none. Rain some night still slant against the panes. Or dropping gentle on the place beneath. Even now. Lamp smoking through wick, turned low, strange, faint smoke issuing through vent in globe. Low ceiling stained by night after night of this, dark, shapeless blot, on surface elsewhere white, once white, stands facing wall up to the various motions described, that is up at nightfall, and into gown and socks. No. In them already, in them all night, all day, all day and night, up at nightfall in gown and sock, and, after a moment, to get his bearings, gropes to window, faint light in room, unutterably faint, whence unknown, stands rock, still staring out into black vast, nothing there, nothing stirring, that he can see. Here, dwells thus, as if unable to move again, or no will left to move again, not enough will left to move again, turns in the end and gropes to where he knows the lamp is standing, thinks he knows, was last standing, when last went out, match one, as described, for globe, two for chimney, three for wick, Chimney and glow back on, turns wick low, backs away to edge of light, and turns to face wall, east, still as the lamp by his side, gown and socks white to take faint light, once white, hair white to take faint light, foot of pallet just visible edge of frame, once white to take faint light, Stands there staring beyond, nothing, empty dark, till first word always the same, night after night the same, birth, then slow fade up of a faint form, out of the dark, a window looking west, sun long sunk behind the larches, light dying, soon, none left to die, no, no such thing as no light. Starless, moonless heaven dies on to dawn and never dies. There, in the dark, that window. Night, slowly falling. Eyes to the small pane gate at that first night. Turn from it in the end to face the darkened room. There, in the end, slowly, a faint hand. Holding aloft a lighted spill. In light of spill faintly the hand and milk-white globe. Then, second hand, in light of spill, takes off globe and disappears, reappears, empty. Takes off chimney, two hands and chimney in light of spill, spill to wick, chimney back on. Hand with spill disappears, second hand disappears, chimney alone in gloom. Hand reappears with globe, globe back on. Turns wick low, pale globe, alone in gloom. Glimmer of brass, bed rail, fade, birth, the death of him. That knee void smile, thirty thousand nights, stands at the edge of lamplight, staring beyond, into the dark, whole again, window gone, hands gone, light gone, gone again and again and again and again, gone, till dark slowly parts again, gray light, rain, pelting, umbrellas round a grave, seen from above. Streaming black canopies, black ditch beneath, rain bubbling in the black mud, empty for the moment. That place beneath, which, he all but said, which loved one? Thirty seconds, to add to the two and a half billion odd, then fade.
Dark, whole again, blessed dark, no. No such thing as whole. Stand staring beyond, half hearing what he's saying. He? The words falling from his mouth, making do with his mouth. Light's lamp as described. Backs away to edge of light and turns to face wall. Stares beyond, into dark. Waits for first word always the same. It gathers in his mouth. Parts lips and thrusts tongue forward. Birth. Parts the dark. Slowly the window. That first night. The room. The spill. The hands. The lamp. The gleam of brass. Fade gone again and again gone. Mouth agape. A cry. Stifled by nasal. Dark parts. Grey light. Rain pelting, streaming umbrellas, ditch, bubbling black mud. Coffin out of frame, whose? Fade, gone. Move on to other matters. Try to move on to other matters. How far from all? Head almost touching, as at window. Eyes glued to pain staring out, nothing stirring. Black, vast, stands there. Stock still, staring out, as if unable to move again. Or gone, the will to move again, gone. Faint cry in his ear, mouth agape, closed with hiss of breath, lips joined. Feel soft touch of lip on lip, lip lipping lip. Then parted by cry as before. Where is he now? Back at window, staring out, eyes glued to pain as if looking his last. Turns away at last and gropes through faint, unaccountable light to unseen lamp. White gown moving through that gloom. Once white. Lights and moves to face wall, as described. Head, almost touching. Stands there, staring beyond, waiting for the first word. It gathers in his mouth. Parts lips and thrusts tongue between them. Tip of tongue. Feel soft touch of tongue on lips. Of lips on tongue. Stare beyond through rift in dark to other dark, further dark. Sun long sunk behind the larches. Nothing stirring, nothing faintly stirring. Stock still, eyes glued to pain, as if looking his last. At that first night of thirty thousand odd. We're soon to be, this night to be, spill. Hands, lamp, gleam of brass, pale globe alone in gloom. Brass bed rail catching light. Thirty seconds. To swell the two and a half billion odd. Fade. Gone. Cry snuffed with breath of nostrils. Again and again. Again and again gone. Till whose grave? Which? He all but said which loved ones. He? Black ditch and pelting rain. Way out through the grey rift in dark. Seen from on high. Streaming canopies, bubbling black mud, coffin on its way. Loved one. He all but said, loved one, on his way. Her way, thirty seconds, fade, gone. Stands there staring beyond, into dark hole again. No, no such thing as hole. Head almost touching wall, white hair catching light, white gown, white sock. White foot of pallet, edge of frame, stage left, once white. Least. Give and head rests on wall, but no. Stock still head, hot staring beyond. Nothing stirring, faintly stirring. Thirty thousand nights of ghosts beyond. Beyond that black beyond. Ghost light, ghost nights, ghost room, ghost graves, ghost. He all but said, ghost loved ones. Waiting on the rip word. Stands there staring beyond. At the black veil lips quivering to half heard words. Treating of other matters. Trying to treat of other matters. Till half hears there are no other matters. Never were other matters. Never two matters. Never but the one matter. The dead and gone. The dying and the going. From the word go. The word be gone. Such as the light. Going now. Beginning to go. In the room, where else? Unnoticed by him, staring beyond. The globe alone, not the other. The unaccountable from nowhere, on all sides nowhere. The globe, alone. Alone, gone.